else here these are the other composition books i made i played with different techniques for each of the covers of this book this oceanic blue team one was covered with scrapbook paper i used wallpaper to cover the back and self-adhesive white wallpaper for the spine i could have used 12 by 12 scrapbook paper to cover the spine as well but it might crack over time Besides, my husband happened to have lots of self-adhesive white wallpaper scraps. It's pretty durable and the adhesive is quite strong. I painted the wallpaper blue to fit the theme of this book. The other three are floral theme with different main colors. This one, I decoupage white wallpaper with tissue paper for the entire cover. I decorated the spine with a lace piece I received from snail mail on Junkers Crafts Co-op Group. My main color theme for this one is purple. I painted the wallpaper with acrylic paint before decoupaging it with tissue paper. I used a fabric sample I got for free from Fabmo to decorate the spine. Fabmo is a silicon valley based all volunteer nonprofit that rescues discontinued designer samples and makes them available to the public for creative use. I will put their information on the description box so if you happen to live in Bay Area or visit this area, you can go and check them out. And on the last one, I decoupage tissue paper directly on the book cover. The composition book I use for this one has a poly cover. As you can see through the paper napkin, the color cover is blue, and that's the main color theme for this book. The insides of these books are similar. I made a side pocket behind the front cover and a tuck spot on the back. I need to mention that this cutout here is from a note card that this book recipient sent me along with her snail mail. I think it will be cute to include this funny image on her book. In the middle, I made a double pocket. I folded the paper to make this triangle shape, then added a piece of cardstock as the divider of this double pocket. As you can see, my cardstock doesn't go all the way to the spine. This cap here gives this pocket a leeway to bend easily, especially if my recipient put more stuff and make this book quite bulky. I also keep this divider open. This opening will allow the pocket to expand easily when you stuff, stuff it like I do now. The recipient of this book is a junk journal crafter. That's why I fill the pocket with some dyed paper and ephemera of the same theme of this book. I also randomly decorated the inside of the book. In this book, I randomly stamp some oceanic images on the paper like this one there's also another one and on the front as well like this one I don't have cute floral stamps to decorate the other three so I use the cardstock scraps after I decorated the inside of the cover to decorate the paper and on this one, I use a bigger piece of the scraps and I put floral fussy cuts to make this floral arrangement look. Although right now it's kind of topple all around. So yeah, these are the other composition books I made so far. I'm planning to make more for Christmas presents with my remaining composition books. This project is easy and fun to make. It's a perfect project for craft fair, teacher gifts, co-workers co gifts, or last minute Christmas presents. Once you have everything prepared, you can put it together really fast. Thank you for watching. I hope you try this project and happy crafting. Until next video, bye.